What it do? It's your boy DJ320. You now tuning in to Smack Life TV, TL the essay. You smack? Tune in, Smack Life TV. What's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ320. If you're not used to hearing my voice, you know what I mean? DJ320 underscore rapper recap. I just made that. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Y'all already know what it is, man. DJ 320 Crane YouTube. Tell a friend, tell another friend. Smack Life TV, let's get it. When you jumped off the push with the DJ stuff? Shit, as soon as I came out the womb. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well say that. Nah, but no funny. Basically, I want to say, I try to be humble with it and say like 12 or 13, but my pops say 10. So if he say 10, then I guess that it's 10. Yeah. Because basically, um, I would just take over for him whenever he get booked up for shows. Once he seen, and there was proof that I will, you know, I do my thing at, once again, 10, 11 years old. And instead of him coming back, they, they wanted me to come back. On some, no funny. But yeah, so that's how that went about. Basically, I just fell in love with it. I guess you could say we started taking it serious, serious for going about I want to say six years with, you know what I'm saying, when I got involved with the radio. And, you know, we basically said that's what we love to do. And we always love music. Music was always around, you know, so that's how that went. Mm -hmm. DJ 640, 640 evening show, by the way, if y'all don't know who Pops is. So, as far as your spins and stuff, like, how you come up with your sets? Just try to stand out. I like to, this is what I like to do. I like to play shit other DJs don't play. That other people need to hear that they, you know what I'm saying, that you're not used to uh, hearing because you might think I'm gonna play a Drake song, but it's not gonna be the Drake song that you think, or it's not gonna be the version that you think. It's gonna come on, you know what I mean? But I just like to, you know, just throw them in the mix a little bit, and I don't like to just be cliche with it, if that makes sense. You know, just keep standing out and just crank at the same time. So, with the rapper recap, how, that, how you come up with that? All right, so yeah, basically, all right, I don't want to say it, but, you know, thanks to the COVID-19, it basically made the process go faster because I always had in my head, you know what I'm saying, we was always cooking up, you know, with, you know, content, fresh content, you know, for the people, but we just ain't never know when it was the right time to drop it, but, shit, since that COVID came out, it was like, what, what we do on the regular? Shit, smoke. So yeah, might as well do something that we like doing, but be productive at the same time with it, you know. Everybody like rapper, right? That's where everybody's smoking nowadays. So yeah, that's how I came up with that. How you feel about the music coming out of the DMV right now? I feel like the DMV music scene is definitely strong. I feel like we can be better as unity-wise, you know, coming together because, you know, it's a, it's a lot of beefs out here, you know. I already know everybody got their own little shit, to dip, you know, they got going on, but as in music, you know, we gotta put bullshit to the side, you know what I'm saying, come together, get this money. That's why other cities and other states, you already hear, you already know what I'm about to say, they, exactly, that's why, that's the start. But other than that, you know, and then, man, it's other flows besides DMV flow. It's other flows besides DMV flow, don't get me wrong, I love the DMV flow, but come up with another one, you know what I mean, be unique with it, show me that you can do something else. That's how you. That's how. That's how you stand out as an artist. That's what make you great. If you can do other things and you know put yourself in other comforts, like or take yourself out of you. You know what I mean? Just because of the fact that you're so used to doing that. But yeah, that's how I feel about that. All right, man. And how you feel about like the radio? How the radio here puts on or doesn't put on our artists? All right. How long does the radio be on the air for? All day. <laughs> All day. 24 hours, right? Yeah. Why is it that I give it, I'm going to be modest. Four hours out of 24 hours, you'll hear DMV music on, on the radio. And when I say radio, I mean 95 and 93, of course. Notice I didn't say 92. 92, actually, you know what I'm saying, they like to play Baltimore artists, and that's what that's why Baltimore artists make it out before DMV artists, you know what I mean? And on top of that, it's, it's, it's crazy because they wait for the DMV artists to pop and then they want to show love like they wasn't just home right down the street. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about, you know, the radio situation. They got to do better breaking, you know, artists in the DMV, man. It's like 
We in the DMV. Drake's not from the DMV. Megan Thee Stallion's not from the DMV. Why the hell do I keep on hearing that every fucking five minutes? Yeah. Um. And this is one other thing, you know what I'm saying? Glad you said that. You got DMV artists with millions and millions and millions of views on YouTube. No Savage. Why the fuck is he not on the radio? Why is he not on the radio? I even seen them the clean versions. What's the excuse? What's the excuse? What is the excuse? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You do interviews as well. Oh yeah, that's how I, like I said, that's how it started before the recaps. That's how it started. So yeah, basically, um, like once again, you know, 640 evening show, that's where it started, that's where, you know what I'm saying, it was branched off of. And um I got a call that my father was saying we about to have a radio show. And the funny thing is, it was April 1st. He's known to be a jokester, he's known to do, you know what I'm saying, do funny <laughs> shit. So I'm like, yeah, alright man, I'm not about to fall for it, you know, this day and the third. He was like, nah, I'm serious. I'm like, yeah, okay. So we get in there. I said, nah, 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 nah. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go with you then. He said, all right, cool. I want you to. I was like, all right, cool. So in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking he's bullshitting me. You know what I mean? Keep it 100. So as we getting ready, and this is when, you know, he was still, you know, carrying, we still carrying crates and, you know, turntables and stuff like the DJ shit. I was like, oh, he's serious. Yeah. Like, he carrying all of this, so he can't be playing. So I'm yeah. like, all right, maybe, you know, this is about to be a little official. So we get to the spot, we set up. I'm like, oh, this is for real. So basically, you know, it started out with me, him, and his friend, um, Big T. Shout out to Big T. Basically, we, um, we get to the station, and I guess, you know, they're not really too familiar with the promoting and then, you know, advertising and all of that, the marketing. And you know the Facebook and Instagram and all of that. So the manager was like, "Sure, that's right up your alley." And I was like, "It is, isn't it?" So I said, "You know what? I'll go ahead and do that. I'll do that for y'all. I'll be the promoter and the advertiser down the third. Anyway, make the long story short, we did a couple shows. We did shows back to back, back to back, back to back. We seen, you know, we was getting support, you know, from family and then, you know, friends and somehow, some way it started being, you know, other states and cities and stuff like that. So once I started seeing the support getting real heavy, I was like, okay, so we might could do something with that. As a couple years went by, I started just saying, maybe I can just, you know what I'm saying, do it myself. And I started um, basically, and that's when I came up with the 320 experience. So I just branched off, basically took everything that my father, you know, taught me, you know, from his his show, 640 Evening Show, and I just, you know, put it into the 320 experience, but my own, you know, my own twist, my own, you know, my own lane. And once I, I want to say, once I brought Fat Trail to that station, man, it was over. It was over. I knew I was going, you know, I already knew something was going with it. So I just had to be, keep consistent with it, you know, different artist shots to every artist, you know what I'm saying? That was on a 320 experience as well. I ain't forget about y'all, but I'm just saying, Trail really, you know what I'm saying? Gave that push. Yeah, exact facts, facts. So as far as the go-go world, you're not gonna put it in a box. You got top five? Yeah. Top five? Yeah. Top five bounce beat? Yeah. Now or period? Overall. Overall? My favorite band, ABM. I ain't gonna hold you, my favorite band, ABM. I'll go ahead and go like this. It'll go ABM, TOB. I wish All Stars was still here. <laughs> I wish Renegade was still here. TCB, you know what I mean? Gotta give it to the Bounce Beat Kings. What band? Fuck it. You know what I mean? What band? Fuck it. They got the bounce. You know what I'm saying? Rapper do his thing. Um, I got one more. Reaction. Reaction. Solid. Yeah, yep. Yeah. How you feel about how the how the go go, I guess scene, kind of died down? Do you think it died down since the the rap scene took off, or how you think that went? I'm not going to say it died down, cause if you look at it, that shit's still popping. You know what I mean? The shows is still there. That shit is packed <laughs> from the front to the back. That shit is definitely packed. They still packing out shows, but I will say it's not the same. You know what I mean? Cause I remember back in the day. We would, it's crazy, it'll be, it's like different venues at one time, different bands at one time. And you know what I'm saying, you got different options where you can go this, that, and the third. But now, it's not really so many options. It's only like maybe a couple spots just because of the fact, you know what I'm saying, the COVID and just because 
they, you know what I'm saying, they try to shut down GoGo, you know, in the Maryland and the DC area, you know, for the most part. But, you know, now, this in, now that it's in VA, you know, it's definitely, you know what I'm saying, shit being consistent. Like I said, they packing out shows, that shit still crank. I ain't gonna hold y'all listen to it. I ain't gonna never give up. <laughs> I ain't gonna never give it up. Man, shout out to the fans, shout out to the support, shout out to the love, the fake, the real, whatever, you know what I mean? You ever tuned in, tapped into a 320 experience, 640 evening show video, any type of content, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case may be. I appreciate it, even the criticism, everything, appreciate it all. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel like I'm doing my job, I'm doing my part, I'm doing my due diligence for the most part. So yeah, six four even the show. He's on Facebook heavy. Roddy Tillman, R O D D I E T I L L M A N. Make sure y'all tune in. You know what I'm saying? Thursdays and then he got a Sunday service early. You know they say church shut down. Don't let you know what I'm saying. Don't let that stop him from tuning in. Get y'all. You know what I'm saying? Get the good word in off the early. You dig? So yeah, you never know what we got going on. 320 Experience, Rapper Recaps, aka Strain Reviews, aka Flavors. We just trying to keep fresh content, push DMV arts at the same time, you know, get them in good depth. Let them know, let them tell them story, let them get their shine on. See what I'm saying? Shout out to Smack Life TV, TL, the essay. Make sure y'all support y'all boy, real, recognize real. Y'all already know what it is.